Good morning, everyone. Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Reverend Anthony Hida. I'm usually here at 11 o'clock, but this morning with Pastor Sunil Gunn, he asked me to step in so that I can uh, do our confirmation service here today. Now, in the United Methodist Church, confirmation isn't a sacrament like communion or marriage or that sort of thing, but it is a very deeply holy time, a time when we recognize the coming of spiritual adulthood for our youth and also celebrate them coming into the fullness of our membership. So we want to do this today as if it were a sacrament, as if it was something we do in a holy and meaningful way. And so, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. And this is God's gift offered to us without price. Through confirmation and through the reaffirmation of our faith, we renew the covenant declared at our baptism, acknowledge what God is doing for us, and affirm our commitment to Christ's holy church. Parents, if you would join your students behind them as um, they come up, I present to you the following students who desire to become members of the church. They have been instructed according to the scripture of the privilege and responsibilities they share as we follow Christ as his disciples. By confirmation, August Bell. Adiana Bowman. Corinne Brittnell. Leo Cutting. Joseph Gernacki, Juliana Hilton, Beta Hauser, Macy LaRose, Juliana Morehouse, Logan Sunderland, Lucas Sunderland, and Kaylin Ware. group we have. Glad that you could all be here. And before I ask you a couple of questions, I'll ask you a question and I'll say, if so, say I do or we will, and you'll repeat that part. But before I get there, I just want to offer you a word from my heart that it's been about 25 years since I stood where you were. And, you know, you may not remember me, you may not remember a lot of details of this day, but I hope you'll take a minute to remember how you feel. Remember how the support of the congregation surrounded you, because whether you know it or not, you're starting a journey. And where that journey will take you with Christ, none of us really know, but God does. So I hope that you'll continue to walk it together with this congregation and with each other. So now I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? If so, please say, I do. Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? If so, please say, I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace, and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? If so, please say, I do. According to the grace given to you, will you remain faithful members of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ's representatives to the world? If so, please say, I will. Now to the congregation, do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? If so, please say, we do. We do. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith? and life, and include these persons now before you in your care. Remember your baptism and be grateful. 
ask you now as the congregation, as those gathered here, please extend your right hands towards our confirmands. We offer them our blessing and welcome to the congregation. August, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Adiana, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Corinne, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Liam, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Joseph, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Juliana, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lada, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Macy, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Juliana, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Logan, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lucas, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And Caitlin, the Holy Spirit works within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. As members of Christ's universal church, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen its ministries? As members of this congregation, the Doylestown United Methodist Church, Will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? Members of the household of God, I commend these persons to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. I think there's a responsive portion here. Is there a slide for that? All right, so then I'm going to lead you through this one by one, all right? Please repeat after me. We give thanks for all that God, we give thanks for all that God has, already given you, has already given you, and we welcome you in Christian love. As members together with you, in the body of Christ, and in Doylestown United Methodist Church, we renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, and our service. That in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The God of all grace who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit that you may live in grace and peace. Amen. Amen. Will you welcome our new confirmation class? Um, I've had the honor of spending 
every week with these this group of youth and they have been wonderful and I'm so excited that they're now official members of our church. <laughs>